By 8 a.m., a group of Muslims led by Assistant Mufti Sheikh Musa Khalil and the Uganda Muslim Supreme Council stormed Majid Faizan Madina Mosque Katlira Primary School to regain control over the property. This was after their brothers occupying the mosque officially pronounced their migration on Sunday to join the Chibuli faction led by Supreme Mufti Sheikh Galabuzi. No, 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 this one, you go to court, you don't know, you go to court. The emotional verbal exchanges ended into punches. Not even the assistant Mufti was spared. Police had to fire tear gas several times to quell the scaffold. And we came in peace to install the imam. They started first closing the gate for us. They started a fight to fight us, push us out of the place in the eyes of the police, the security. You come very many now. Businesses around and along Juba Road was also brought to a standstill. While parents who came to rescue their children could not access the school, others were seen fleeing from tear gas. But meters away behind the school gathered the pupils, guided by the head teacher and the city education officer. They were later sent home for safety. According to the head teacher, four pupils were critically affected. They were rushed to Lira Regional Referral Hospital for management. Addressing the press outside the premise, the assistant moved to Uganda Muslim Supreme Council, Sheikh Musa Kahil, argued that Sheikh Yusuf Balinda and group cannot break away with their property. We stand firm to make sure that this mosque, not even a dot of our mosque, will be left into the hands of those who cross the Kibuli. The war has started. We shall fight to the last minute. We shall fight to the last blood. The land in question was donated by our father in 1952 under Uganda Muslim Supreme Council. Mr. Fazil, I'm also the grandson of Imarawa. But why are you fighting us? Is it that I've shown up? Let them come again. Let them come. God will fight for us. We need nothing. Why are they disturbing us? Rashid Ajop, the publicist for the breakaway group, said they will sue the attackers for damages caused. Security later convened a closed-door meeting with the leadership of both factions. So we have appealed for calm from them and restraint from both sides. And they have assured that us that they are going back to, to adhere to whatever we have agreed. And uh, it is within our interest that uh, this should be resolved. It should be noted that for over decades the leadership of Lao Muslim community at Lirapi 7 Mosque has never been in good terms with the Lao Muslim Council. In 2011, there was a mob clash in which five were seriously wounded, leading to the arrest of 20. Eddie UBC News.